having this uh, issue. Yeah, Watch I don't know if it's, uh, if it's a staging thing or what, but Ross definitely uh, plays a lot on Void Stream. Shouts to Void. He is at this event as well. So you guys can check his stream out, backslash PSN Void. Yeah. Yeah. Quick little plug there. But Ross is definitely someone he Wi Fi's a lot with Ross, Heavy, and some other people. Yeah. And uh, Ross, definitely a Link specialist. He plays them all. Yes, I he believe does. Link is his main since I talk, last talked to him in Frostbite. But, uh, oh, dang, we going with the Joker, though? And then a lot of times when I see him play on Voice Stream, he's playing either, like, Yank, Link, Young Link. Um, I don't see too much of the Toon Link. I don't know if he plays a little uh, but mostly Wait, Link. Wait, why yeah. did he say Lloyd? That is. Am I tripping right now? I, I That looks like Kool-Aid, right? That is. I'm pretty. I feel like that <laughs> is Kool-Aid. <laughs> that, that definitely looks. I, mean, I think he might have changed his tag. Did he? I don't know. So that's definitely the late, late fitness Twitter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and DMG. And why is it D DJV? All right. Anyways, uh, going this match, <laughs> PG Cosmos and Link with the Buzz. So many questions. Some will be answered. Some will not. <laughs> going here in game one. <laughs> um, at late fitness and it's plasma. So I, I, I don't Kool Aid. Where are you? You all over the place. Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well. It, Definitely, but it says Laid, aka Kool Aid. So I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be Laid, not Lloyd. But, anyways, we on. We moving. Alright, so Kool Aid rocking the Lucina. I definitely think it's a very fitting character for him. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, I mean, if you and DMG, joke, you, you got a joke. You're like, DMG, definitely a crew that swag. comes out with a lot of combo videos. Yeah. And Joker is probably the swaggiest of them all. So yeah, yeah. He's you, if you're the MG and you don't have a Joker, you better be questioning your life. Absolutely. Yeah, your life gag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With a confidence. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so Buzzo and Cosmos, two, uh, two characters that more so on the defensive side, I want to say. Um, Inkling right. just really good at whiff punishing and then um, just – all of them are very projectile reliant, so we'll see if Kool-Aid and Ross can break down the walls and really just try to get into red team because it looks like right now it ain't happening. They both oh, got the six socks on deck with Kool-Aid with the forward air. Nice edge guard there. Yeah, good stuff. So one of the cool things I do love about this team dynamic, uh, Olimar and Inkling is very similar to how Sonic and, and Olimar used to be as well in terms of a team. And right. the idea behind it is that because they have a stance, like so for Sonic he had his spin dash, of course, and then for Inkling he just had that dash that's like crazy and it's super low profile. That allows you to team with a zoner and basically control the ground while avoiding a lot of the zoning. So it's a very, very good tool because it pretty much frees up the buzz to play his game. He doesn't really need to be so cognizant of where his teammate is. So it's right. really, really nice. Ooh, but there is a wow. beautiful punish coming up from Ross there. Oh, yo, 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 yo! How much carries do you have to... Yo, man. Yo, moment 37, bro. Yo, this guy is flexing That right was now. actually fire. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It was, the thing about it, too, it wasn't even like the... You know, like the, some of them are just like, oh, you just quickly double tap, right? Like you just buffer. Yeah, it. that was multiple. Parries. Yeah, there was multiple different timings right there for that parry. I don't know why he got that. That was actually wild. Yeah. Yo, is that Makoto? Oh, best girl, Makoto is actually here. That's wild. <laughs> Let's go, Vicky. Yeah, and one one um, great thing about this, we talked about East Coast talent coming together for this tournament. We got New England, too late, Florida, and then Ross from Florida. So very interesting team. And New England, another team on the East, or just another region on East Coast that is incredibly strong. They yeah. have two players like that are going to be top ten pretty much margin light. Right. So. And then Kool-Aid is also just, I mean, I would assume a top five PR member of New England. He's a very talented player. Very, well. very talented, man. And he's one of those guys who's always playing online, you know, plays Wi-Fi. He was part of the uh, the rotation crew, as it were, man, where you had the, a lot of the top players. Uh, you had the Buzz in there. You had Anti. Yeah. You know, a lot of these guys just playing it day in, day out. So it's pretty sick to see him uh, come out more and more in tournaments because he's someone who honestly is just important to be reckoned with. He just doesn't come out as much. Yeah. Just, just one of those uh, sleeper picks that yes. don't, don't travel as often. Yeah, hit a boss, definitely. So right now, man, blue team has brought it way back. Oh, now we're super back. Yeah, you know they what? were getting bodied. Looking right now, keep a notice on that rebellion gauge, man. Because that is about to be full a little bit. You just need a little bit of time. 
and our sin will be online. I would love him to play a bit patient here. That's definitely a way, I and mean, I see we're, we're seeing it right now. It's going for the rainstorm, of course, the down angle guns, and now just like that, even though, oh, they are about to win this one. Yeah. Our sin is coming online right now. Oh, oh, oh wait no! A, that was the quickest yeet. And right before our send to, oh, he oh. didn't back that. Oh, I, yeah, he, yeah, he won, he won. He, won. he definitely wanted he back definitely here. Won. Yeah. Wow, that that because that is definitely true. Can you get the edge guard and tech? Oh man. And coverage back. Yep. Yep. I like it. I like it. And we're gonna go to chase. Step back on stage. Good, beautiful spacing on that double jump back and easy money up tilt. That is your live splat splat splatoon. Man, Kool Aid is so good in doubles. <laughs> and like, and he he's been someone that's been good in doubles since you know, like especially in Smash Four. Yeah. In Brawl, like. He's just, he's so good at it. He is. Very, very good. Now, Man, that was a, uh, you know, it's the little things. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hi, <laughs> yo, Makoto <laughs> is on. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, the GOAT. Yeah, and right now, that I really want to point out Kool-Aid, he had so much great edge guards. Mm -hmm. The back airs offstage were on point. Right now, the buzz is in deep thought and deep conversation with Cosmo. It's just like, man, I can't be getting back airs like that, man. Could yep. be all over my stuff offstage? Oh, absolutely, man. man. I get some respect, Cosmos. Can you yep. can you help me out? <laughs> can you help me? <laughs> my recovery is not inkling. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, that that's one thing that as the meta progresses, we're seeing a lot more abuse in those aspects with Snake and Olimar. That recovery, that oh, disadvantage. Oh, yeah, so absolutely, we, man. The, the stocks are getting nailed, and that's where these characters really suffer. They do have a few mix-ups, but that's where you really got to nail them, really absolutely. take the stocks off. And then, you know what's going to happen, I think, the next evolution usually of the meta is once people get better at adhering these characters, they start fine-tuning their general combos on stage to get them off stage. Right now, people are still doing combos like, oh, I can combo all of our snakes, so I'm just going to combo them upwards. No, you know these characters have a trouble being off stage. Get them off stage with their combos, and then edge guard them from there. Wait, that's really the wait, wait. Yes, that stock was deleted. Wait, but the, we didn't have a stock. Ro Rosa, Rosalina's on the screen. Yes, Rosalina's on screen, and Cosmos lost the stock. <laughs> wow, and that's actually kind of crazy because Cosmos is the one stock tanking all of game one, so for him to lose the stock that early, and the switch to Rosalina, I... I don't know. Maybe the buzz just wanted a better Arsene recovery. is out. Oh, is that worth it though? Oh my gosh. I like I, I like the idea with the nair, but the buzz did stall out that yeah. up beam. I thought he was just gonna wait, try to go for a uh, double jump on stage there. Wow, Kool Aid actually didn't get fully connected by that roller and up smash. Yeah. He, only, he got hit by like the last part, and it just didn't like get that two spot. The backer still alive. Kool Aid uh -oh. on this stock tank life. Wow, what a play! Man, and he's edge guarding Inkling right now. Yes. Not an easy thing to do. Not at all. And you can tell just his awareness because he's dipping super, super low. That's really what you have to do in that kind of situation. You have to. Yeah, exactly. And right now, the butt, man, sitting with the three stock sneaking, but wow. All right, both stock tanks, we out. Yeah. Back to two stocks apiece for everyone, but Cosmos was the first one to get there, so he's, a, he, he's got a little bit more damage than everyone else. Yeah. And the off stage. And Oh, I, that was so sick. I love what a doubles edge guard, yeah, dude. Exactly. That was so clean. Like, right now, man, a blue team is so willing to go for these edge guards. I don't care if you're Inkling. I don't yeah. care if you're Rosa. I'm going off stage. And they're even doing it with two people at the same exactly, time. Man. That's so good. You know what? This is a situation when you look at, okay, I'm a top player. You're a top player. Let's team. No, these guys look like a team when you're seeing from and where you're seeing Ross, man. They look like a quality team, and that's the difference, man. Doubles is that dynamic. You need to have that kind of synergy. It's so important. Yeah, and I mean, to have follow-ups is one thing, but man, to be edge guarding, 2v1 edge guarding at the same time, I don't do not see that often. You do not see that often, especially how clean that was, man. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but right now, the buzz on his final stock here. Oh, this jab's gonna be big damage to punish. Down air sends him off stage and gets rid of the Luma, the two for oh, one special. Oh man, but he loses life for that. Yeah, he's gonna put him in a situation, maybe just ledge dropped at that same time yeah. that he grabbed the ledge, but nonetheless, Kool Aid is the one with two stocks remaining. Everyone else on their last stock. True. Man, what a scramble. And one thing I really like that Blue Team is willing to do is they are 
willing to get up close and personal. Not like Absolutely. you get this half of the stage, I get this half of the stage. Like, oh, let, let's make this a real scramble. Exactly. Let, let's get, let's get mixed. The thing is because they're so confident in their team micro spacing, and you don't see that all too often. Usually in scramble situations, people set back and reset their spacing. But these guys can actually sit in the trenches together and be all right. And you see that here. And so they, strong. They barely hit each other as well. Like being able to play that close and not hit your teammate is very impressive. Yeah. Wow. I'm really loving also this Arson. Like, just like this Joker play is so immaculate. I love the general setups. Oh, this is dead. Oh. Wow. No. I mean, maybe not dead, but would have been a lot of damage. Yeah. Ooh, and right now, Kool Aid on his final stock here. All right, yeah, yeah, and this is big. Joker's got to go right now for Cosmos and Buzz. Otherwise, we'll stop it. Just let's say that. And again, Kool-Aid recognized that. That's why he ran over there. He's like, I need to protect my teammate. The Buzz was being super defensive, and that was a problem. He was too busy thinking about his own life. And because of that, the 2v1 is going to happen. Now we have another 2v1 situation. Even like, a, oh, oh my a, gosh, where are you rolling? Where are you rolling? You're Slice going. in the back. And look at these guys with confidence. Yeah. This is a day in the life. They knew what was going down. Yeah, that was very, very wow. nice team play that coming was out. Very and good. even like little things like you saw Ross, he was in the air when uh, the buzz was getting ledge trapped, and then he just directional air dodged to the center. He's like, you know what, Kool-Aid, you'll take the ledge trap. Yep. And then I'll take I'll cover the roll area, I'll cover if he jumps high. And it's just team ledge trapping, team edge guarding, team juggling. It's it's all very, very nice when you see it done yeah. really, really well. Yeah. Man, that was that was super sick. That was a very, very, very 